SEPS and BIM, a new process for using BIM and SEPS together for facility planning and design. This presentation is geared towards VA project managers and the use of SEPS to communicate the requirements to the design teams. On the VA till, there's a new page for the SEPS to BIM process. There are videos and other documents. This page will be updated as new material becomes available. As we all know, the Space and Equipment Planning System is used by the Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense Military Health System to create consistent requirements to, and communicate with the design teams. From SEPS, you can output different reports, program for design, project room contents, and other reports can be output from SEPS for that project. There's a new process now being defined to use SEPS output with BIM. And in the SEPS tool, there has been uh, an export that has existed for a while called a Project BIM Excel export. Moving from static documents to BIM will enhance the consistency of information as it gets communicated to the design teams from SEPS. From SEPS, the most important thing is to use this Project BIM export Excel file. You go to the bottom of the list on the reporting function and instead of selecting program for design or project room contents, you hit export project for project BIM export Excel and it creates a single Excel file with the prog program for design and the project room contents in separate tabs and with IDs that can work with BIM. The other reports are still obviously still functional so the project manager can create any of the other reports but handing the requirements to the design team in the, for the use of in BIM you need to use this project BIM export file. This Excel file can then be used as an import for BIM applications to go and get the latest BIM template and equipment and start to auto populate the BIM with the requirements from SEPS. So for example uh, an exam room will actually have the layout if it's available as a BIM and the appropriate BIM um, objects placed in the correct location. The designer can then use this to start the design process in various BIM applications. So for the uh, VA side of the project manager, if they export this Excel file, the design team can then use this to complete the design and that's an important requirement that needs to be communicated with the design teams to use this actual project BIM Excel export and not to manually enter the data from other formats from PDF or even the PFD and PRC Excel files are good but they're missing the, the IDs that are necessary in the BIM applications to keep track of spaces and equipment. There are a lot of benefits to this workflow. Once the data is in BIM, the requirements are there and in, there are other f features that are possible in the BIM applications to do checking, for example, the deltas between the required areas of spaces and the actual design as it progresses through schematics and design development into construction documents. You can do things like automatically create floor plans with color codes of spaces that show the deltas between the requirements and the current design and then be able to track the deltas between those in different report reporting types like we're all used to looking at two columns like this of the approved square footage and the actual square footage coming back from the design. It is also possible to view the uh, SEPS BIM export as um, uh, 3D in different mobile applications and different 3D applications as well using the different BIM tools that are out there. And the SEPS data actually makes its way all the way into the objects inside the space. So when you click on an object, for example, in this example, you can actually see the SEPS data along with the object. The designers still have the freedom to use this as a starting point and still become be creative. You can actually change the size of the space, add equipment, delete equipment. That is really up to the designers to use the BIM, their BIM tools of choice to make these changes. And even objects that do not have detailed um, geometries uh, come in as what we call the red bounding box as a block that has the name, the JSN names from the MIL standard 1691 and the correct uh, XYZ bounding box size so the designer can still place it in the space and continue the design work in their, their tool. In this way it makes it more efficient to communicate the equipment and spaces from SEPS to the different BIM applications and create 
a consistent way to um, work with the design teams. Equipment, um, that is the red bounding boxes we mentioned, can be taken and additional geometry can be created by the design teams if they desire. And it can be used to create the um, test fits and guide plates like this um, for typical rooms. It's really up to the design teams to use the output from SEPS to complete the design work. There's a lot of training material that's, that is already online on the TIL uh, for the department update uh, consultants, the architects that work on the IDIQ teams that update departments for VA. And a similar um, workflow uh, exists for the, um, the project architects as well, using these tools. And the intent is as these projects progress and departments get updated, more detailed information and BIM templates will be available as well as additional object libraries that can then be used to generate the output, whether it's for department updates and PDF files or for actual design and construction projects in the, um, the use of BIM for projects. Additional material is available online, as well as videos that show the, uh, the steps of exporting from SEPs and going into BIM.